buscar el remate en esa incursión por la banda Joe Scali. Joe Scali que me da que va rápido y que le gusta mucho a Greg Bell. Control de pelota. Tinguea, pero aparece de nuevo Pulisic metiendo la pelota dentro del área. Lera, la vieja guarda de Uruguaya que sigue presente. La figura de Diego Godín, el más veterano. Joven Scali que está en el Monchenglava, 20 partidos titulares en el Monchenglava para los 19 años que tiene Scali. Jugador muy prometedor. Buena pelota en la que ha servido Varela, el centro al área, la pelota de... Con esta selección, con la selección estadounidense. Trae la presión de Uruguay, que fue muy eficaz ante México. Odín que sí. Algunos que ponen en cuestión que van a seguir en el Atlético Mineiro. No, podría incluso volver a campo. Podrías en enterarse de las faltas. Y el que yo lo que tiene que jugar con la plantilla que tiene. Cuidado que aparece liberado Varela, Varela que desde el pico del área grande va a servir el centro, el balón de Varela. En la media punta de la selección. Tiene, tiene buen equipo y está cambiando lógicamente la piel e incluso la forma de jugar. El futbolista de Estados Unidos, Viña, de lado a lado, los dos carrileros combinando, Varela, envío de Varela, el cabezón. Los que están en el fútbol portugués, compartiendo equipo con cuates que se han quedado en el banquillo para el campeonato del mundo, pero bueno, lo importante era clasificarse, pero es verdad que en partidos como local es un equipo extremadamente duro, muy difícil, un regate escalofriante sobre Jesús Ferreira Sí, Ferreira apretó en la presión y la verdad que arriesgó mucho el jugador del Galatasaray que después de mucha lesión, ahora sí que está peleando el puesto con Rochen, yo creo que el probablemente se pueda quedar fuera del, del once del Mundial La UEA acelera, UEA continúa, UEA el defensor uruguayo Este... Que, que tiene esta selección, por supuesto, pero vamos, tiene buen equipo en Estados Unidos. Scali. Error de Musa. Retrasó Darwin. La pelota ahora que iba buscando precisamente la carrera de Darwin. Lo hace bien Aaron Long. Christian Pulisic. Scali. De la historia de Estados Unidos, de la selección, pero en su época, de Landon Donovan jugaba, yo creo que el nivel de la selección de Estados Unidos era, era inferior a este. Tiempo, manda el balón a Aaron Long. Qué jugador más importante McKenny para la selección, porque es que es muy versátil. Donde le ponga el seleccionador, tiene aptitudes para jugar en muchos sitios. Es que es muy completo, porque es un jugador que tiene una muy buena punta de velocidad, eso lo tiene cuando juega como extremo, lo demuestra, pero cuando juega por dentro, como interior, es un jugador con buen manejo de balones, por eso digo que es muy completo. Scali. Hablamos de un jugador de 19 años, ya con 17 y prácticamente es el modelo de la mayoría de los jugadores de mucha experiencia. Scali. Toque de primera de Darwin Núñez. Otra vez el que aparece liberado el Varela. Ahí es donde Uruguay claramente ha encontrado una forma de hacer daño a Estados Unidos desde el arranque del partido. Maxi esperando a que alguien llegue de frente. Tardó mucho en aparecer. Ugarte. Cáceres. Otra vez el movimiento de Varela. Esta vez sorprende jugando por dentro Uruguay. Estaba con la cabeza levantada y a la par quiso controlar y no vio bien el balón. Se le fue. Scali. Scali salió del primer regate. De este no está una y otra vez dando instrucciones. Una y otra vez recolocando a sus futbolistas. Solo un jugador de Uruguay repite respecto al equipo.
Now Fina repeatedly up on the left for Uruguay. Hooks in that cross. Varela trying to steer it back. Musa not down off his thigh. Clearance only as far as Varela. He'll hook that back in. That's Arioli. Says it. He embraces the role of a guy that is the quintessential. You love to play with him. You despise playing against him. As that one comes over the top too far. on the outside under some pressure. That's Joe Scally defending up high. He's got a long run back now as it comes across. Oh, Brown's able to win the ball back in play. Rick Berhalter was hoping to get the Kansas City native on the field. He's on now for the second half. Pulisic again sort of coming to get it. Palmer Brown didn't have a great option. He gives it to Pulisic in the end. He's taken off the ball, and now it's Nunez on the outlet. Palmer Brown trying to recover. Nunez cuts him back. Nunez clips it in. Gory Iran miss hit it. So good. Morella on the run. Scali running with him. Scali able to grab the first pass in, and then he dumps Morella to the turf as he gets it away for Nunez. Spacing now how they figure out to press the ball and how they figure out also in possession ways in which to break down this team, which has got some real quality they've just added into the game. All right, 30 minutes to go in Kansas City. Some world-class players on the field for the opponent, including this man, Cavani. Rolled back inside. Harrison sort of nipping at it, couldn't take the ball away. Gory Rod. Forced backwards. Excluding Mexico, the U.S. has not beaten a team that highly ranked with Greg Berhalter as their coach. Scally defending, great first touch from Gory Rod. Trying to spin this back around. How about the back heel? Now the cross sent through to the back side. Varela waiting for it. Vecino wants it. Vecino hooks it in front. Johnson made the save. Gory Rod sends it back in. Johnson cleaned it up. We were waiting for him. Fullbacks and overloads in the wide areas. So Gory has the ball here, and now he's got the run. What a great awareness and pass. The ball comes in initially, but it's the recycled ball on the second one. Watch this save here from Sean Johnson. Now the U.S., a little burst of energy. The game needed, I think, on both sides. And that was knocked away by Valverde. Quickly on a regular basis. Messino lifting that long. Nunez gets there off the chest. Blocked by Zimmerman. Gorioran picks it up. Scali defending into the middle. Stab it. We'll see if that streak keeps up for the next 25 minutes and change. Long switch now. That's Oliveira out there. Back in for Nunez. Uruguayan fans making themselves heard as Adams gets to that ball. Continued down below us now. The U.S. assistant coaches have come over and had a word about the extra sub that Uruguay have thrown on. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Protest the game? It's a friendly. <laughs> no, maybe now the U.S. gets to throw another one on. We're going to have a hydration break in a minute for them to keep the chat going. As Aronson wriggles away. And Diego loves them. Yeah. There's Scali forced backwards. All right, what do you want to see from the U.S.? I think Uruguay have swung the momentum back in their favor with some of the changes that they've made. The U.S. have yet to find a rhythm again. Joe Scali's now down. Just before the hydration break, he continues. Still the conversations continue with Federation delegates and the match officials here. As Hanji Wright couldn't hold that ball up. And it comes now for Nunez on the run. Adams trying to recover. Zimmerman slides in. Did he get a piece of that? Adams wanted Sean Johnson to come. And it... Yunus Musa's had a good game for the U.S. One or two opportunities to get the ball off his foot quicker. Tempo setter for this team. His calmness on the ball, in possession, linking play, switching the point of attack. I mean, he's another player that I would have marker, pen, sharpie, whatever you want, in the starting lineup. Has to be in there in England. Think about that. The last day of the group. Wales against England, U.S. against Iran. Those are going to be two remarkably just emotionally historic. Tyler Adams looking to reset. Be coming on for you. Are, are you losing Look track of subs now too, like the uh, fourth official? I mean, someone's got to be in charge of this stuff. <laughs> at a certain experience.
big game know-how mentality and I, I would want those guys in the game and running that midfield and just the eighth all-time meeting which dates back to 1924 between the u.s and uruguay scally that was a big first touch but no one came to close him down and he gives the pass away zimmerman Uruguay won all run for Rossi. Palmer Brown blocked off in the last minute. Rossi cuts inside of Diego Rossi driving on. Closed down by Zimmerman. Cleared away by Scali. Robinson gets sucked in to the sideline and then just great skill completely skates past Palmer Brown looking down on Hill against Grenada. And at El Salvador, a week from Tuesday in FS1. And then we won't see them on the field again until September. How about Ariola won that ball away? In for Aronson now. Aronson trying to get to the byline. Cross was blocked. Bonnie Bell. Well. Now 90 seconds to go here. Zimmerman rises up to win the header, but it's hooked forward. U.S. now got to get back. Nunez brings that down. Nunez charging in. Cuts it for Cavani. Oh. And to Nunez. And I was thinking Nunez was going to take this strike, and it's Valverde just recognizes where the space is because Zimmerman had stepped in to make the challenge. I thought he was going to take it with.